Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I'm hanging out in the Hawker right now and uh, I showed you guys a brief rundown of the airplane last week of the cockpit and uh, a few people mentioned that I failed to show you guys the APU panel. And they're exactly right. I just walked right past it, didn't show it. So I figured I'd show that to you guys uh, here today. I don't need to start it up, so I'm not gonna do that, but uh, I will show you guys the, the basics of it and uh, what it looks like. It's right here behind the captain's uh, right shoulder. It's a pretty inconvenient place for the captain to operate it, but it's very nice for the, the, the right seater to use it. So uh, the APU was never designed originally with the Hawker, so they had to tack it on to kind of a, a weird spot for the operation panel, but uh, it is what it is. It works well and uh, it puts out a lot of air for cooling, warms, uh, warms the airplane up really nice in the winter time and it makes great electrics. So we can run all of the electrics for this airplane off the APU, just like the G4. So let me give you a quick rundown of it. So starting at the top of the panel up here, you see we got a couple of gauges. We got the RPM gauge, we got the EGT gauge or exhaust gas temperature, DC loads. So that's uh, just for the electrics. A couple limitations here. We can run it as high as 30,000 feet. We can start it as high as 20,000 feet. So that's uh, pretty convenient right there. Got a couple of lights down here. The, the top four are usually when, when things go, go wrong, typically. Uh, the bottom ones are normal stuff. Got a couple of tests down here. Those don't usually get used too much. Those just stay in normal. We can test the, uh, the bulbs and the over voltage if we ever needed to. Down here we got our bleed air switch to get the air into the airplane and we got the generator switch to turn that on and off. Master switch down here, that's how you turn it on to uh, start it. And then this is our stop button to shut the APU down. This one hopefully we never have to use. That's the fire extinguisher if we ever get an APU fire. And this is the test button to, uh, to test the fire extinguisher function. Down here, we just got some uh, inputs for the uh, headset for the jump seat. We don't usually have someone in the jump seat in this airplane, but if we ever did and they wanted to wear a headset, that's where they would plug into. So, uh, like I said, I don't really need to start it right now, but I can show you guys the, uh, the APU fire warning. That one's always kind of fun to, uh, to take a listen to. So to get that, come over here, we got to turn the battery on right there. Come back over here, push this button, it's going to turn red and we're going to get a loud bell. If we ever hear that while we're flying or even on the ground, that means we've got an APU fire and someone needs to come over here and flip that switch. Uh, it does have an automatic deployment uh, function, so if it ever actually happened, it would probably deploy on its own before we got to it, but just in case, we can always hit it too. So that's about it. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a little something new about the Hawker that you perhaps didn't already know. It's a very good airplane, it works great. Uh, I've actually started flying it already. Videos are gonna start coming out for the Hawker here real soon. I've been enjoying flying it. I did not get to fly with Brian, as I told you guys last week, but uh, I am flying with another guy right now. You'll meet, meet him, I'm sure, real soon. A really cool guy, knows the airplane really, really well, flies really well. So I'm excited to keep flying with uh, various Hawker pilots going forward through Alarion. So uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Leave some comments, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next Tech Tuesday. Keep living the corporate pilot life.